Hey guys, welcome back to Help a Function. In this video, we will discuss a question, factorial trailing zeros. So the problem statement says that, given an integer n, return the number of trailing zeros in n factorial. Now what is trailing zeros? Trailing zeros are a sequence of zeros after which no other digit follows. That is, they are the sequence of zeros at the last of the number. Let's understand by example. For n is equals to 5, n factorial is 120, and as 120 has 1 0 at last, the trailing zeros is 1, thus our answer is 1. When n is 3, n factorial is 6, and as it has no trailing zeros, our answer is 0. And when n is 10, n factorial is 3628800, thus the number of trailing zeros here are 2, thus our answer is also 2. So let's see how we will solve this. The brute force approach to solve this problem is to find the n factorial and then get the number of trailing zeros by checking the remainder when dividing by 10. Here k is the n factorial. While k is not equals to 0 and k modulo 10 is 0, we will increment our answer and divide k by 10 and again keep checking. But this approach will not work because factorial of a number like 50 is very large and will overflow. So let's see how we will solve this. It is obvious that if we multiply any number by 10, we will get a 0 at the end of that number. 3 multiplied by 10 becomes 30 and 3 multiplied by 10 into 10 that is 100 becomes 300. And as our concern is to get the number of trailing zeros, Thus, in n factorial, we have to find that how many times we are multiplying with 10. 10 can be written as the product of 2 into 5 in simplest form. Thus, the problem is now reduced to finding the number of pairs of 2 and 5 in n factorial. Let's take an example of 10. If we write all the numbers as the product of their prime factors, we will observe that the number of 2s will always be greater than number of 5s. This is because for every alternate number, we will get 1 or more than 1 2s. Whereas for 5, it will happen at interval of 5. Thus, the answer to this problem is the number of 5s we can get from n factorial. Let's see how to find that. If a number is divisible by 5, then it will contribute to the answer. And from 1 to n, the number of integers divisible by 5 are n by 5. Now, if a number is divisible by 25, it can be written as 5 into 5 and thus it can contribute 2 times. So we need to consider these numbers one more time and thus we will add n by 25 to our answer. Similarly, if a number is divisible by 125, then it will contribute 3 times. And thus we will consider these numbers one more time and add n by 125 to our answer. Thus the answer to our problem is n by 5 plus n by 25 plus n by 125 plus dot 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 which means until this not becomes 0. Now to code this is very simple. We have two variables k which is initially equal to 5 and answer which is 0. So while my n by k is not equals to 0, I will add it in my answer and multiply my k by 5. So the first time it will check for n by 5, then for n by 25, then for n by 125 and so on. Whenever n by k becomes 0, the while loop will terminate and we will return answer. Note that we have taken long long int as n can be very large and my k can overflow. So to be on safer side, it is better to take long long int. Let's understand with this example. Here my n is 27. So for the first time, 27 by 5 is 5. And as 5 is not 0, it will add up to my answer. This means that up to 27, there are 5 numbers which are divisible by 5. And these are those 5 numbers. Now my k becomes 25 and as 27 by 25 is 1 and so we will again enter the while loop and 1 will be added to my answer. 
This means that up to 27, there is one number that is divided by 25 and that is the number 25 itself. Now my k becomes 125 and 27 by 125 will become 0 thus will while loop will break and we will return 6 as our answer. Thus we get 6 number of 5s till 27 and they will pair up with 2 and form 6 trailing zeros. The time complexity here is logarithmic because we are only checking for the power of 5s. For example, for a number lesser than 625, this while loop will work only 4 times. The space complexity is O of 1 because we are using constant space. I put the problem link in the description, you can go and solve it. If any doubt or suggestion, please write in the comment. This was all about the problem. Thank you for watching. Do like, share and subscribe to the channel for more such videos.